Hello YouTube, this is Bruno. Today we'll briefly look at the map builder that I use to generate large maps. Making maps is always a fun project and I believe the result is really worth it. Depending on your playstyle you can surprise the other players on your server or you can prank them. Or you could even build an infinity room out of these white maps. The number of applications is almost limitless. When generating Minecraft maps it often helps to have a flat surface, which I typically create in the sky or over an ocean. Basically you can use any material that you like. I prefer white wool because for black and white pictures white wool already gives the background and we only have to place the other blocks, the grey blocks and the black ones. And white wool is very easy to farm with a large scale sheep farm. But of course for color pictures you can use anything like cobble. The technology is also suitable to build floors for a perimeter for example. And the basis is Glow Squid's 10 game tick floor placer that I picked up on the slime stone discord. Now it's a bit slower than other floor placers but it's very easy to build and I value building time more than a little afk time. So I'd rather build a contraption that I can knock out in 20 minutes over the contraption that will take an hour to build. It also seems to be reasonably phantom proof. At least I was there for a ton of Minecraft days without phantoms eating my face. And I added a simple water transport for items. There are client side mods that replenish your hotbar from your inventory. So you could fill up the inventory with wool and once this is used up it would replace it with another one. Still the inventory is only one shulker box more or less. And even for a small 128 by 128 map you'll need 10 shulker boxes full and therefore would have to take 10 breaks. Build for 10 minutes, replenish inventory, build for another 10 minutes and so on. So I added this item transport here and it's as simple as it gets. I have a dropper putting the wool into a water stream and I just placed some hoppers here with shulker boxes where the wool was in. And the water stream is built completely out of pumpkins and glow lichen and both will be destroyed by flying machines. And that means as the floor builder moves, this water channel will be removed bit by bit. But the player is solid, is wedged in here rather solidly and can just place the wool. The maximal size of course depends on your simulation distance, which limits both the length of the water channel as also the width of the building machine. So all of this water channel has to be in the loaded area. On a server the simulation distance is 10 chunks or 160 blocks. And this world download is set up to generate one standard map of size 128 by 128. So right now the water channel is set up right on the edge of the map. And the machine is just outside the map. And all you need to do is to enable the clock that is not quite fast enough but almost as fast as the floor placer. Turn on the floor placer by breaking this block here. Go in here and hold down right click. And let's do a time lapse. And I, again I used the mob switch to build a map. However with mob spawning I'm not sure if this is entirely safe. If you don't have a mob switch then maybe even use lighting blocks like shroom lights or frog lights whatever you have a ton of. So I'd argue that this map maker saves a ton of time especially if you lay the foundation for more than one map like here where I basically did a 512 by 256 area and I had to build two of the map makers because of the simulation distance but after that it's just a couple of minutes to create another water stream and another map is done. So these machines will save you a ton of time. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you want to see more content like this. Please subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of my videos and see you next time. Bye bye.